Welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. In the previous video, we have discussed about the save method. In this video, we'll write a code for getting a single record. I'll open the book DAO implementation and I'll remove these comments. I'll make use of session factory. Get the current session dot get. This will take two arguments. One is a class name, in this case, book dot class and the second parameter which is a book id and i'm going to return this back to the service method i'll go to the service implementation and i'll remove these comments i'm going to call the dao method book dao dot get and i will pass the book id and i'm going to return back to the controller and i'll go back to the controller I'll write a comments, get a single record, public response entity. I'm going to call this get. This will take ID as an argument and I'm going to annotate this method with the at get mapping because this is a HTTP GET request and the request mapping should be slash API slash book slash within the curly braces we will pass the ID which is a book ID and inside this parenthesis we have to annotate this with the add path variable and we have to specify the same name that we have specified in the URL. Copy this and paste it inside the method. I'm going to call a book service. I'm going to call a get method and I will pass ID to this get method. And this will give us the book object. And I'm going to return that book return response entity dot ok dot body to this body we will pass the book object the path variable which accepts the id which is coming from the url and go to the book service implementation and annotate this method with the at transactional save all the files and restart the server. All right, our application is up and running. I will open the postman. I'll open a new tab and I'll copy the URL and I'll paste it and I'll change this to get and I'll pass the book ID. I'll pass the ID one and when I click the send button, you can see the book record, which is having the ID one change this to 2, you can expect the record which is having the ID 2. This is about the getting a single record from the database. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we will look at the update and delete operations. We'll see you in the next video.